Welcome to Winslow Academy. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can generate flowcharts similar to the one that you see here. So nice visual representations of a given process. In this example here, we are displaying a flowchart of the process of creating a web application. So we will be creating these using ChatGPT just to show how we can optimize this entire process. So we will head over to ChatGPT where I have a prompt uh, chat prepared here. First off, we are in need of some process or some steps within a process uh, for our flowchart. So I have just decided here that I will have the process of building a social media application. It could be any other process. It could also be just a process that you want to utilize this on. But the important part is that you need some steps within a process to make this work. It can also be some other thing, of course, but basically you need to have some kind of titles and steps in order to in order to do this. But here, ChatGPT has then nicely listed all the steps within the process along with some sub-steps describing what's actually going on in each of these. So what we want is to have this uh, represented uh, uh, visually and in order for us to do this, we'll then afterwards write to ChatGPT, create a flowchart representing the process above and incorporate the above steps. So all the steps that we have here basically. ChatGPT will then uh, do it uh, give a, an example of how this could look. Basically, it will do it within this chat uh, using this terminal kind of view. Uh, it's similar to the one that we have in flowchart, so actually the visual part is illustrated in the same way, but it's not very graphically nice and not something that we could possibly use uh, for representation or similar. So we want to have this uh, transferred into Draw.io where we can then style it in any way that we uh, see fitting. That leads us to the last and final prompt that we'll be using. And basically that is give me the mermaid code for this. So basically transform this into the mermaid code format that we can copy paste directly into Draw.io as an example. ChatGPT will then take this and make the mermaid code needed. So let's try to copy this. This is basically all we need. Then we'll go over to Draw.io. Then we'll just delete this just to illustrate how we create this from the beginning. So we go into Draw.io the free uh, app here then we click on the plus sign or the plus sign then we click advanced then we choose mermaid because that was the uh, code format that we asked ChatGPT to create for us so we click mermaid then we'll just delete this default one here copy paste the one in that ChatGPT gave us click insert and then we have a visually nice representing flowchart of the process of creating this social media app. Now we can style these, we can rearrange them, we can do basically whatever we want to make this look extra nice and crisp. And you can imagine that you can take this and actually have a way more complex flowchart. Now this is very simple and it will probably not take long for anyone to do this manually, but imagine that you have a very complex process that has like several sub-steps underneath each other, it has uh, several branches there where parallel work is needed, then it can quickly become a very tedious and slow process to actually create, but by just getting ChatGPT to do all the basics for you, then you are just left with the actual styling, uh, ensuring that this is ready for representation. Uh, to either you or maybe a client at uh, at your work. So this is how you can actually utilize ChatGPT to create uh, flowcharts using the Draw.io. See you next time at Winslow Academy.